find EF, NF, and NO. These are the loads that are carried in each of these three members. Now this is a great big old truss, and to do this by the method of joints would be long involved. So we're going to use the method of sections instead, especially since we're only looking for three individual members, and they exist along a single cut. We're going to start by drawing the free body diagram of the entire structure. At J we have a pin, so I have JY and JX, and at RY I have just a roller, so I have RY over here. I have only three unknowns, so if I write the equations of equilibrium for the entire structure, I can actually solve what they are. I only have one in x. I have jx equals zero. jy plus ry equals 300. And if I sum the moments, if I sum them at j, for example, then I have 300 times 25 meters equals ry times 40. And that amounts to three equations and three unknowns, which I can solve. jx equals zero. ry if you plug it into a calculator, is 170.5 kilonewtons, and JY is 112.5 kilonewtons. Once you have these, the next step is to cut through the structure. I only have three links that I'm looking for, so I'm going to cut through EF, NF, and NO. If I do that, I will have bits and pieces of these loads on each of my two sides. They need to be equal and opposite. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the reaction loads that we just solved for. That's the one at J, and this is the one at R. Now, for example, if I cut through NO right here, I will have a reaction on this side, NO, and an opposite reaction on this side of NO. If I cut through EF, I will have a reaction load here, which I'm going to call EF, and an equal and opposite one here, which I'm going to call EF also. Notice that there are no negatives in here. These are equal and opposite. The opposite comes from the sense of the direction, from the direction of the arrow, the sense of the vector, not from a negative sign on the label. The third one I'm going to cut through is NF. NF gives me a load NF here and here, equal and opposite on both sides. I need to find out what the directions are for ENF. So if I call this angle theta and this is alpha, then in this little bit, this is theta and this is alpha. I need to figure out what those are. I can do that from the geometry of the problem. So if I look first at the triangle that has N and F on its corners, this is 6 meters and this is 5 meters. This is my alpha, and this is just the square root of 61. I can do a similar thing with the triangle that involves E and F. This is only 0.25 given the, direct, the distances in the problem, and this is 5 meters also. So when this is your theta up here, this is the square root of 25.1 from Pythagorean Theorem. Once I have the free body diagrams, I can do the equilibrium from either side. Just because I had to pick one, I'm going to pick the right-hand side here and sum the forces in moments. If I sum the forces in x, I have minus EF times 5 over the square root of 25.1, because the force triangle and the distance triangle are similar, minus NF times 5 over the square root of 61, minus NO equals 0 because all of these are going in the negative direction. That means some of them are going to be opposite signs. That's okay. I've just picked them so that er I've assumed every single internal load is in tension. I've assumed the internal loads are in tension. And if I picked one of them wrong, then I'll have a negative sign. We'll figure out which one it is. To sum the forces in Y, I have EF times 0.25 over the square root of 25.1 minus NF 6 over the root, root 61, minus 300 plus 187.5 equals 0. And to sum the moments, let's sum the moments at the point F. That eliminates both EF and NF. And I have NO times 6, which is going this way, and 187.5 times 15, which is going the other way. So 1 minus the other equals 0. This is also three equations in three unknowns, and I can solve. When you do this, you get NO is 469 kilonewtons. EF is minus 361 kilonewtons, and NF is minus 170 kilonewtons. That's the answer. What you need to notice is that this EF and NF are both in their negatives, so they're going to be in compression. NO is going to be in tension. EF and NF are in compression.